I'm going to show you how to take this penguin from Blender into mocap fusion for animating. I've got blend shapes on this so that I can do facial capture too using APS sidekick jaw open eye blink I'm going to select the uh, penguin collection so that everything in here will get exported file export FBX I use path mode copy with this checked to make sure the textures come through. I pick the active collection to get the entire penguin. All these are selected and then I make sure under geometry that apply modifiers is not checked because I have a modifier on the mesh. If, if it applies the modifier it'll get rid of the shape keys. I'm going to export it. I'm bringing up Unity Hub now. I have this project which has the latest APS SDK in it, 2019 438F1 version. I'm going to drag that FBX file that I just created into the Assets folder. There's the penguin. Drag that into the hierarchy. He shows up in the scene. Textures look good except the feet are missing their texture. To get that, I need to go into materials, extract materials. I've got this folder I already made, so I'll put it in there. Now I should probably be able to edit the textures or edit the materials from that body. Which one is it? I know it's this one, but I'll show you why. In here, see, this is what it's supposed to look like. If I Go into edit mode for the mesh, pick the face selection, click on it. It shows you which material. See, this one is Penguin 1 right here. So now I can drag, I know it's this texture here. There, now I've got the texture on the feet. Back here into the assets. Click on the FBX file. I want to tell this that it's a humanoid figure and apply that. Then I want to configure the mapping. I'll save it. This just makes sure that all the bones are mapped correctly. Let's see if I go to the head. I can see that here that the right eye is assigned to I.R. I know that's the name of the bones. That's correct. For uh, left hand, these are wrong. So I'm going to delete these and assign them to the middle finger. Let me delete these here. Usually I have to click these twice and then delete. I don't know why. So this is the left hand. I'll show you why I know it's those bones. If you go to this, uh, pick the armature, shift click, the mesh, go into weight paint mode. If I click on the, the pinky, it's not assigned to anything. It's the middle fingers, one, two, and three, that define the hand. So you can bring this hierarchy over to the right just by dragging it over like that. Now it's easier, a little easier to work that way. I can put it back after I'm done. So I'm gonna find the left hand bones right here so here's the here's finger three first joint okay finger three second joint um, finger three third joint for the right hand I just go down here do the same thing for the other side finger three Right. Oh, I got to delete them first. Look. Okay. Then. Oh, look at this character is not in T pose. So let me take care of that right now. Enforce T pose. Not sure what that does. I guess it makes sure the orientation is right. Right hand. 
figure three, first joint. There's that again. I don't know if that matters right now. I think I can finish these first. Okay, those look good now. Let me fix that and force the T-pose. I think it did correct the angles of the bones, which is a good thing. Well, I can check everything now by going clicking on this muscles and settings. So it'll apply everything I did. Now I can look at the, uh, with these sliders here, I can see if, if everything's working right. How about the fingers? That's the one I changed anyway. I assume that's all right. Reset all when you're done and then press done here and you're back to this window. I'm going to bring the hierarchy back over to the left. All right. So I've got the textures fixed now. I've got the bones mapped correctly. I'm going to go ahead and customize it for APS for mocap fusion. So I'm going to add on, I click the top hierarchy for the penguin right here. And then under this menu, add new APS SDK avatar. Okay. And then I'm going to build the avatar from FBX. I can bring that folder right into the mocap fusion right now, but I want to add facial expressions first and also the tell it where the eyes are so you click on this um, add HMD target helper and I want to put the glasses where they would be on my head it tells it tells mocap fusion basically where my eyes are going to be at now since it's an odd shaped head with a long beak I'm putting the glasses kind of further ahead. Let's make sure that the animation looks right. I click on that camera and I, I press play here. Um, see if I defined it as a humanoid, which I did. That's good. Click on the play button again to get out of that. Okay, before I do the blend shapes, let's make sure we got blend shapes in here. Um, here they are, blend shapes. So they came through the FBX file, brought them through. That's good. Jaw open. I'm sure they're all there. Good. The other one. Okay. So I got to tell, I got this field here. I need to tell, tell it which one is the body. It's this one right here. I drag that into here. Now I'm going to click on the top hierarchy. And under APS SDK, I'm going to add um, face cap, new face cap linker. Right now it says none. So if I guess links, it will fill it in for me. And just to, as a bonus, add mocap meta mocap linker. That's for the meta Quest Pro, which has face recognition built into it and then back here to the okay, back here to the APS SDK so I'm going to rebuild this avatar asset I'm going to cut this here and then under this folder mocap assets I probably have a penguin in there already I'm going to get rid of that one Put the new one in. Okay. I'll call it Penguin Zero. Ready to go into Quest right now. I'm using Virtual Desktop. I'm going to go into Fusion. This is the SteamVR environment. Fusion's coming up. 
good. All right, press any button to press those either button to bring up the menu. Let's look at the mirror. Okay, lock that screen so I can lock the mirror, and then under avatars, my penguin should show up. Nope. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, and then I'm going to do a T pose. Let me do that again. I'll look forward. All right, I don't have my slime VR trackers on right now, um, so it, I'm just relying on the locomotion of the legs. All right, I'm going to go into profile and set up a couple of things first. Head and neck. Okay. And then my uh, jaw flap source, I want it to be the iPhone, the facial capture, not the microphone. I'm going to save this. Right, I'm going to do a capture. Um, lift my quest up so that the iPhone on my chest can see my face. And we'll see how that looks. And I'll export it to Blender. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Hello, everyone. I'm going to see the eyes move. Okay. Um, your little head. Yeah, it's like you're already seeing the episode. It's like, all right, let's go. All right, it said that there was um, 35 frames lost. That would be zero if I minimized the screen on my laptop. So let me bring up the menu and export it. Call it penguin. All right, export complete. Now let's go to the uh, computer and bring it into Blender now. Back to the laptop now. Um, this is the file that was exported from MoCap Fusion for Blender. And um, if I just run this scene loader, open it up in Blender. And then you run the script. After running the script, the armature has its action, plus the skin has the uh, face facial capture keyframes as well. So if I press play, basically everything that I did in there is now inside Blender. That was the whole process of getting it from Blender back into Blender, but with MoCat Fusion in the center of everything. Fantastic.